Welcome back everybody. Uh, I picked up a new vehicle the other day and uh, I'm finding it to be pretty awesome so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, obviously it's a helicopter, it's the Call of Duty uh, Mega Blocks Chopper, Chopper Strike is what it's called. Um, it was actually really easy to put together. Sometimes these uh, Mega Blocks sets can uh, be a real pain uh, to get together. Um, but this guy, uh, you know, he went to get went together really uh, easy. Um, you know, I, he's old, I guess. I I didn't really pay attention to these, um, you know, building sets for quite a while. But uh, this one, I believe, is is a few years old. But it's like seventy bucks on uh, eBay is like the cheapest they could find it for. I actually found it on a say uh, on a local Facebook sell it site for twenty five bucks. So I jumped on it right away. But um, as you can see in the background, that is a box that come, comes in. But let's get a closer look at the actual helicopter itself. And as I said, this thing is pretty great. It's perfect scale. Um, you know, it's got these guns on the sides. These uh, mini mini guns or whatever they call them. Um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be a, a you know missile launcher or whatever. Um, but yeah, very cool. Tons of detail. It's got the... Uh, chain feed for the the guns looks like I have them backwards at least that one backwards but um, you know it's a very cool helicopter if you're looking for a helicopter for your mini mates uh, this would be it uh, and then you know of course the, the the you know cab opens on it which is pretty awesome and they actually do fit in pretty good um, I did try one of them. I did not try two at a time, but I think they'll fit in just fine. So, uh, you know, a lot of these Mega Blocks, man, they're just they're they're perfect for um, you know mini mates. Yeah, you can get two of them in there and still close the the top or whatever, and and they fit just fine. So. Anyways, um, <clears throat> of course, I have uh, a setup for this. Um, the setup I do have for it actually is a continuation of last night's story on um, the three pictures that you guys saw there. So anyways, let's uh, take a look at what that's going to look like. All right, guys. So here we are. Um, so I've been working on this for the last few days. Um, and this helicopter is just problematic. Uh, it's not easy to work with. I have not figured out how to work with it. It's too heavy. Um, I've just had all sorts of issues with it that's kind of taken the fun out of it. Um, so I do have like two or three shots I took with it, but each one was so delicate that, <coughs> excuse me, every time I'd try to take a picture, stuff would fall over. And, um, you know, the helicopter's cool, it looks great, but uh, to get it actually flying is one thing. Uh, like Falcon here, I'm so used to taking like figures and making them look like they're flying and they're so lightweight I never have any issues but this thing is a tank um actually I tipped it over right before starting this video that's why the gun belt is off but um I'll post the pictures I took with it uh you know it's not my best work I just everything kept kept collapsing and uh, you know this thing's made out of legos or cheap legos so I had to quick rebuild it every time and um like I said, it just became too much of a hassle. It took the fun out of it. And, th and there's one thing I learned right when I started uh, doing toy photography was uh, if you're not having fun, what's the point? Once it becomes stressful and once uh, things just aren't working out, it's best just to move on, uh, trash your idea and move on. Because um, I do this to relax and, and, and uh, sometimes it's not relaxing because it's so much work, but... Um, but uh, this was just way too much work, and it was just kind of irritating me, so I decided to move on. Uh, just take some quick pictures that, I'm not, that aren't, aren't my best work, but uh, we'll finish this story. Uh, the other thing I had an issue with is, see this one right here, this, uh, this Falcon right here. This is Civil War Falcon. Um, the Infinity War Falcon, his wings just don't stay in. Um, every time I would get the helicopter set up, his wing would fall off. Um, you know, and it just kept falling off, so I just had to get rid of them. I tried even using a little bit of wax to hold it on. It only made it worse. So, uh, that Falcon that I reviewed, um, you know, a review ago, 
sucks. <laughs> like, it looks cool, and I like the colors on it better than this one. But the damn wing doesn't stay in, and it, it just was so irritating. Um, you know, I really should have finished this the first night, and I didn't because it was such a pain in the ass. So, anyways, I will post those, uh, I think it was three pictures uh, at the end of this video that finish out the story. Um, but as far as recommending this helicopter, I do recommend it because it looks cool, but uh, don't expect to do the whole flying trick with it because the thing weighs a ton. It's impossible. I, I got to come up with some kind of new stands that I've never come up with before or something to make it work because um, it just drove me nuts working with this thing. And it really, like I said, it just took the fun right out of it. So um, no, not anytime soon will I be using this again. So at least until, until I figure that issue out. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll also post my uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook, you know, links in there for all my all, all my mini made pictures. Don't forget to hit that like like and subscribe button. Um, thanks for viewing, guys. We'll see you at the next video. Uh, I'll have the other uh, Infinity War mates coming up soon. Okay, catch you guys later.